In this session, we're going to continue to take a look at the style of Buddy Emmons. We're going to break down the solo from the song, Don't You Ever Get Tired of Hurting Me. It's the version that can be found off the Willie Nelson Ray Price album, San Antonio Rose. Also, the backing track I'm using in this video can be found on my YouTube channel for you to use for free. I'll leave a link at the bottom. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and remember to hit that subscribe button. Now here's that solo. things about Buddy's playing style that are very obvious in this solo. One, his use of major scales, how he could take something so simple and make it sound so musical. The beginning of this solo starts out with the first three notes of a descending F major scale. If we played the descending major F scale, it would sound like this. Number two, his use of harmonized scales, whether it be on one fret or whether he would slide them up or down the neck. Uh, the very ending lick of this song is a harmonized scale, sounds like this. And then once again, his use of time-based effects such as delays and reverbs. There's definitely some type of delay going on on this track. Uh, when he would do these uh, glisses that were descending, he could really get the delays to respond. Even ascending. In this video, I am using the MXR Echoplex delay. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen for you so you can see my settings. The solo starts at the 1 minute 43 second mark. I'll break this down into seven figures for you. The first figure sounds like this. Fret 13, your A and your B pedals down. Hit string four, two, five. Release your A and your B pedals. Hit strings four and five. Slide down to fret eight. Engage your B pedal and then squeeze down on the A. Figure one, one more time. Here's figure two. Fret eight, no pedals, no knee levers. Hit strings four and five and slide to fret 10. Slide back to fret 8 while engaging the A and the B pedals. Sounds like this. With the A and the B pedals down at fret 8, hit strings 5 and 6 and slide down to fret 1 while releasing the A and the B pedals. One more time slowly, figure 2. Here's figures one and two together. Here's figure three. I do want you to notice before we break this one down that I'm only picking the strings one time and I'm getting all of those slides out of it. We're going to go to fret 6, no pedals, no knee levers, strings 5 and 6, engage the A and the B pedal, release the A and the B pedal, and slide down to fret 1 while engaging the B pedal and squeeze down on the A. Figure 3 review. Here's figure 1, 2, and 3 put together.
Here's figure four. Once again, notice how we're getting all of those slides by only picking once. This was a big part of Buddy's style. Here it is again. All right, figure four. We'll start out at fret one, your A and your B pedals down. We're gonna strike strings five and six. Release the A and the B pedals and slide up to fret four. Slide up to fret six, no pedals. And then we're gonna finish up by sliding down to fret nine and engaging the A pedal. Once again, figure four review sounds like this. I'll put figures one, two, three, and four together for you in a review. Here's figure five. Starts out at fret eight, no pedals, no knee levers, strike string five only. Engage the A pedal. Move to fret nine with that A pedal still down, hit string five again. Slide back to fret eight, and then release that A pedal. That sounds like this. Move to fret six, no pedals, no knee levers to start out with, hit strings five and six and squeeze the A and then release the A. Move down to fret three, A and B pedals down, strings five and six. Slide to fret one with the A and the B pedals down and then release the A pedal. Figure five review. Figures one, two, three, four, and five together. Here's figure six. That's fret one, A and B pedals down, hit strings three and five, release the A and the B pedals, hit string one, and then finish off no pedals, no knee levers with strings four and six. Figure six review. Here's a review of figures one, two, three, four, five, and six. Here's figure seven. Starts out at fret one, no pedals, no knee levers, hit string six and eight. Engage the B pedal, hit string six and seven. Now we're gonna strike strings five and six one time and we're gonna get a whole bunch of slides out of it. So strings five and six, fret one, no pedals, no knee levers. Engage the A and the B pedals. Slide that up to fret three. Slide that up to fret six and release the A and B pedals. Engage the A and the B pedals. And you're gonna slide that to fret seven and then finish up on fret eight. Here's what that move sounds like. Here's a review of the whole solo, figures one through seven. <laughs> 